Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is Raspberry Reads. If you're new here, then welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy my content. And if you do, then please hit the subscribe button and stick around. Um, today I have a tag video for you. So this is the intimidating TBR tag and I was tagged by Nikki at My Messy Bookshelf. So thank you, Nikki, for tagging me. Um, and I think Nikki did mention on her uh, video that um, we're not quite sure the origin of this video. So unfortunately I can't um, link the original creator down below, but I will of course link Nikki's channel down below so you can go and see what she has to say for this tag. Um, yeah, so let's just right, get right into it, shall we? So the prompts for this um, are have to do around what books you haven't been able to finish, hence your TBR to be read pile. Um, and I've got my notes here, so I will refer to those as we go along. So the first question is actually just what book have you not been um, able to finish? And I'm going to have to say The Secret History by Donna Tart. I haven't made any progress on this. I'm still 100 pages in. I've just, I'm just not into it right now. It's not that it's a bad book. I'm really enjoying it. It's just I've put it aside for other things. I have a feeling that I will get back to this in the autumn. I think it has more fall vibes. Um, but yeah, I really would like to read it, but it's just I'm just not feeling it at the moment. Um, so yes, this is the book for that prompt uh, that I've been unable to finish. The second book, and I have already mentioned this book on my channel, is a prompt that you've been unable to finish because you just haven't had the time. Um, and so I would like to share with you this book, which is The Professor of Secrets, Mystery, Medicine and Alchemy in Renaissance Italy by William Eamon. This is a non-fiction history book. Um, a generalist history so anybody can read it and it's about um, an Italian uh, sort of celebrity doctor and I've had this book since I did my master's degree which is well over a decade ago and I just haven't got to it yet. Um, I, I'd like to say it like, because I didn't have the time. I have had the time. I just need to prioritize the time for this one. Um, the next one is um, a book that you haven't read yet because it's a sequel. Now, I don't actually read a lot of um, series books, which I should read more of them. I don't know why I don't, but I tend to just read one-off books. But the only series I could think of that I am still working my way through is the um, the Silo series by Hugh Howey. Um, so I've read um, uh, Dust and Shift, or no, I've read Wool and Shift, and the third one is called Dust, and I haven't read that one yet. I actually just bought a copy of that book uh, for my brother for his birthday, so I'm hoping I can time it so that maybe we can like buddy read. Well, we'll see. But yes, I would really like to get to Dust by the end of this year. I think that that trilogy is probably one of the best um, dystopian trilogies that, um, or series that I've ever read. Um, for the next prompt is a book that you haven't read yet because it's brand new. Um, so I went for The Familiar by Lee Bardugo. Um, the Familiar came out in March, April this year in any case, and I recently picked this up um, on a visit to Foyle's Bookshop in London. So yes, I haven't got to this yet because I've only just recently purchased it. I'm very excited to read this. Um, ha have you read this? Have you read any of the books that I've mentioned so far? Let me know. Um, the next one is a book that I haven't read yet because I read a book by the same author and didn't enjoy it. And again, this was a really difficult one because in general, if I really don't like the author, I probably won't pick up another book. But the book that came to mind was Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. I've read I think all of her other works, or at least most of them. Um, but for whatever reason, I started listening to the audiobook of The Sea of Tranquility and I just couldn't get into it. And I think that's because it has similar characters to the, the Glass Hotel, which wasn't my favorite by her. Um, and I had read that one, was a bit disappointed, and then when I was listening and heard that the same characters were featuring but on different tangents. I just had to, to had to put it down. But I know that it's such a good book and I would really like to get to it. Um, so 
It's not to say that I'll never get to the Sea of Tranquility. I think I just need to give it um, a bit of a break and get back to it when I am in the right headspace. Have you read the Sea of Tranquility? Um, if so, what do you, how do you think that that book rates um, compared to her other, her other books? My favorite book by Emily St. John Mandel is definitely Station Eleven, but I did also enjoy, for the most part, um, Last Night in Montreal. It was a very different uh, book by her. It's actually one of her earlier works, I think. But yeah, um, Station Eleven definitely ranks at the top. Um, so yeah, where would you rank Sea of Tranquility um, on all of those books? Um, all right, so the next book was um, a book that you haven't got to yet because you're just not in the mood for. Um, so I'm going to go with Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. I had the best of intentions of reading it this spring and I just, I just haven't. I've read a few pages and that's about it. Um, I have no reason. I just, I'm just not in the mood for it right now. Um, it's such an important work, but I think that I would be doing it a disservice if I forced myself to read it when I wasn't in the right mood. So I'm sure the time will come where, um, Yes, the stars align and it's the perfect opportunity to read this piece of, of non-fiction all about um, sort of environmentalism and chemical uh, pollution in the 1960s. The next book is a book that I haven't read yet because it's humongous, gigantic. And again, I've mentioned this book on my channel before. This is The Memoirs of Cleopatra by Margaret George, and it is gigantic. Interestingly, after I mentioned this book on my channel, and I think it was actually Nikki's channel, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, um, she had mentioned um, this book and or books by the same author. I had no idea that Margaret George was such a prolific um, historical biography writer. Um, so now I'm even more intrigued to get to this, um, despite its uh, gigantic size. So yes, I think that this is the biggest book I own. Um, yeah, I'm just let me look at my bookshelves above me. But yes, I think this is the biggest one. So the next prompt is a book that I haven't got to yet because um, it was a cover buy, but it turned out to have poor reviews. And I don't have any books that I can think of that fit that brief exactly. However, um, I picked up this book, which is called Planting the World, Joseph Banks and His Collectors, An Adventurous History of Botany by Jordan Goodman. Um, I picked this up, I think over a year ago, and I guess it was kind of a cover buy. I mean, I didn't really read the inside too much and sort of briefly looked at the synopsis on the back, but much of my academic work sort of revolved uh, somewhat around um, plant uh, discovery. And so that's, I was interested in this, but I wouldn't say that it's a bad book. I haven't read it yet, actually, um, but it's it doesn't have very many reviews. It's quite a niche book. So I, I don't really have a sense of if it's a, um, a great book or not, because there's just not a lot of reviews to go by. Um, have, have you read this? If so, then um, let me know. But yeah, I'm sure I'll get to this at some point. But much like Silent Spring, I just haven't been in the mood, particularly for um, nonfiction at the moment. I've been focusing on um, sort of losing myself in new worlds. And last but not least, we have uh, a book that you haven't yet read because um, it's the most intimidating book on your TBR pile. Again, I don't really know. I mean, I've got lots of books, but um, it's hard to know whether or not they're intimidating because I think how they can be intimidating will vary depending on my mood and um, you know, their writing style and the content and all that thing, sort of things, all those sort of things. So I decided to go with Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, and that's because this would be the, um, the first Leo Tolstoy that I will have read. I know that um, Russian literature can be challenging. This one certainly isn't the biggest one, isn't it? Crime and Punishment is the biggest, can't remember. But in any case, um, in terms of like the great Russian literature, I think Anna Karenina is a classic and again I just want to make sure that I take the time to do it justice and for that reason I find it a little bit intimidating and I'm sure it will sit on my shelf for a while. 
Yes, so those are all the books for the intimidating TBR tag. Uh, thanks again, Nikki, for tagging me in this. And the last prompt is actually to tag some people. So I like I would like to tag Tristan over at L Space Books. Um, Tristan is just finished his master's in French literature, and I think he'll have some interesting books, uh, particularly because he reads um, some books in French. Um, and so yes, I'm sure some of those will be um, intimidating, or at least intimidating for me. Um, I'd also like to tag Danielle um, Oberski at PJs and Pages. Um, Daniela reads um, quite uh, widely, and she the last time I the last video I watched, she had done a haul and had quite a broad range of, of books. So I'm sure she'd have some interesting things to say. And then I'd also like to tag um, Brindis, uh, daughter of Gunnar. So Brindis is from Iceland. And again, I think she, should, she could bring a very interesting perspective to this. And please correct me if I'm wrong, Brindis, but I believe she's also doing a PhD. So perhaps she can bring um, an academic element into it. We'll see. But yes, if you three would like to do this tag, then please do so. Um, as always, if I haven't tagged you and you'd like to do the tag, then yeah, you should definitely do it. Um, it was a lot of fun. And I guess that just leaves me to say that I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you are enjoying whatever it is that you are reading. And I will see you soon in a new video. Take care.